What's up guys, my name is Ten Hundred. I'm an artist from Seattle, Washington, and today I'm going to show you how to take your drawing and separate the black line art from the white background in Photoshop. So this is a drawing that I did uh, with ink on a piece of paper, and everything is on one layer here as you can see. I'm going to go to the brightness and contrast and just kind of max out the brightness and contrast because there was I photographed this drawing um, and there's some kind of shadows that naturally happen on the paper so I just want to make the white pure white and the black pure black so I'm actually just going to do this like five times maybe a couple more just for good measure <laughs> if I grab my selector tool now um, it grabs everything and shows me that it's all white here. So now I have this being pure black and pure white. And I want to make sure that my layer here is unlocked. If there's a little lock symbol here, just click it and it'll unlock it. And I want to um, select all. You can hit Command A. And then I want to cut this. I could go to edit and choose cut or I could hit command X or control X on a PC. And then what I want to do is um, I want to use my quick mask, which is right here. Um, you can hit Q on your keyboard to get into quick mask. So now it's in quick mask mode and then I hit paste. And when it's in quick mask, it shows up with these light red lines. And now I hit Q again, or I could hit this little symbol again, but I hit Q again here, and it has the selection, everything except for the black lines. So right now it's got all the white area selected. So I want to invert this selection so that I can select just where the black lines are. So I could go to select and choose inverse, or I could hit shift command I, and now it has uh, switch to grabbing just where the black lines are and now I want to fill these lines with black or whatever color um, and the way that I do that is hit shift F5 and that pulls up my fill box here or you could choose fill uh, I think that's in layer layer I don't even know where fill is I always just hit shift F5 um, and it lets you choose from black, white, or you can choose a specific color, but I'm just gonna do black. Um, got black here, and now, I'm, I could even do that again just to make sure it's like 100% really awesome black. Uh, so now I have my line art completely separate from the white background, and now I can drop in a white background here, and on this layer here, I have my line art, and on this layer here, I have a white background, or I could do like a peach background or whatever. Um, and one more quick thing I'm gonna show you is now that we have our line art separate from our white background, let's say that we want this character to be filled in um, with one solid color, which later when we go um, and color it in, uh, that'll be kind of helpful. So I'm going to grab my magic wand tool here. Um, you can hit W on your keyboard to get that with the quick key. Um, and I am going to... Oh, I don't have contiguous uh, turned on. So it grabbed literally like everything except the black lines. So I'm going to do contiguous. And now it's grabbing the white area outside of the character. But i got to remember that this is all closed off with black lines. So I can hit shift to add to my selection and click there. And now that's added and I gotta just double check there's no other little areas like that. Nope, nope. Okay, so now I want to take that selection and do the inverse. So I'll hit shift command I or shift control I if you're on a PC. I'm gonna go to select menu here, choose modify and then choose contract. So what I'm doing right now is um, the, the selection right now is just on the outside of these black lines. Let me show you. Um, 
So if you can see, it's kind of probably hard to see, but the little um, dotted lines here are on the outside of the black line, and I want them to be sort of like in the middle of these black lines. So I'm going to go to Select, Modify, Contract. Contract means we're going to make our selection just a little bit smaller. So right now it's contracting by four pixels, and that should probably do the trick for the size of my original art that I'm using, but you can mess around with this to get it so that your selection kind of goes into the middle of the black lines. We can see here, it might be cutting it a little close on some of these thinner lines. So I'm gonna hit Command Z to undo that. Um, select, modify, contract, and I'm just gonna do like two pixels. So now um, that selection has gone inside of the lines, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another layer here and I am going to just grab any random color. We'll choose this sort of like orange. I'm gonna use my uh, paint bucket tool or my fill tool. What is it called? Paint bucket tool. G on the keyboard if you want the quick key for that. And then you can just click here. And um, what that did is just fill that entire selected area with that color. So now I have the line art on one layer here, the fill color on another layer here, and the background on another layer here. And in my next video, I'll take this drawing and um, color it in and shade it. So stay tuned and leave a comment below if you found this helpful. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave me a like if you like this. And if you want to check out more of my art, you can go to 1000art.com or follow me on Instagram at 10hun. Thanks for checking this out. Catch you later.